So, The Walking Dead, book three. Um, this is the third graphic novel in the series. I'm not doing them by um, volumes. I'm doing them by hardback books. Um, this is green. I realize they're following the Diary of Wimpy Kid order. The Walking Dead books are. You know, the first one was red, the second one was blue, and this one's green. And the next one's yellow. And I haven't looked to see if the fifth one is uh, purple yet. But it, if, it, if it is, I'm just like, what? Why? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is actually my favorite one so far. First part of the war with the governor, um, after seeing a helicopter crash, Rick, Glenn, and Michonne decide to go check things out, and this leads them to Woodbury. Woodbury. The governor was a lot more blunt in this, he just straight up says, oh yeah, I'm gonna feed you to some walkers, like, he's creepy, he's still, you know, he's still evil and creepy, like, he looks like, um, the picture of the governor looks like Andrew, Andrew J. West, the guy that played Gareth in the TV show. I don't know, he just does. The governor captures them. Uh, Rick meets Dr. Stevens and Alice. Just They're the only sane people in Woodbury who help him escape. So, you know, Lori just struggles. He's pregnant in a zombie apocalypse. And then Carol, you know, Carol tries to help, but Carol is creepy. Like, I mean, what the... I, uh... I don't know, she's just weird in this, you know, I like her better in the TV show, she's, she's, she's tough, she's independent, and then she's just like, the oh, weird, creepy, I wanna marry you, yeah, it's creepy. I, li I do like Martinez in this, I mean, he's, uh, he looks different than, um, Pablo, Siab Carlos, Mar what, whatever, what, one, Carlos Juan Fin, no, he looks different than his guy in the TV show does, but he's, I like him in this. I do wish that there was, um, I mean, I do like that there was a lot of character development for Axel and Tyrese and Michonne. So skip right here to skip the spoilers. I was somewhat sad when Otis died. I mean, he wasn't really developed, but he was cool. So, you know, I wish that Martinez had ended up being good like they thought he was. You know, he would have been a good guy that I thought they could have done more with his character if he was good. Um, he was likable, you know. Um, why did he give Michonne the governor's real address, you know? He's like, okay, I'm a spy for the governor, and then he tells the person who's batshit crazy with killing the governor, oh yeah, he lives over there. I'm just like, what? Why? I was kind of sad when Doc Stevens died, Dr. Stevens. It was alright, and I do like the character of Alice, I guess. So how, how did the governor survive? I mean, I'm pretty sure he didn't, because I mean, you know, Michonne chopped his arm off and chopped his hand off and tortured him, and so I'm pretty sure the governor's, uh, dead. But I don't really know until I get book four. Uh, so all in all, yeah, this is a good graphic novel. It did slow down the pace and develop character a lot more like it needed to. I'd say it's worth getting in hardback. That's what I have it in. So yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe. Bye.